Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. Come on India.com is our website. In this online video lecture, you will learn about ecosystem. What do you mean by ecosystem? What are the various types of ecosystems you know? And what are the abiotic and biotic factors of the ecosystem? This topic is important for, for the prelims examination. So let's start the video lecture. First of all, you should know the definition of ecosystem. We can define ecosystem as a community of plants and animals interacting with each other in a given area and also along with non-living environment. So take an area, for example, take an area, there are some plants are there and some animals are there in the region give different color to the animals and at the end they interact with each other and apart from that they also interact with the non-living components of the environment like air, water, land and other things. So collectively this system is called as ecosystem. In this image you can see the plant community and animals interacting with each other and there are a lot of abiotic factors like climate, habitat, air, soil. So all these used by these living organisms to interact with each other. You may ask another question, what about the size of ecosystems? Ecosystem size is similar all over the world or size may vary. Definitely ecosystem size are not uniform. They can be huge and they can be small as well. Can be huge like where plenty of animals and plants live in a delicate balance and they can be small as well. Example for the small ecosystems are North and South Poles. In North and South Pole, only few creatures can survive this harsh cold climate. Now let's discuss about structure of the ecosystem. Ecosystem structure is nothing but ecological pyramid. It's nothing but ecological pyramid. We covered about ecological pyramid in detail. The base is called as producers. Producers are nothing but plants. They take sunlight and produce energy via the process called as photosynthesis by using a pigment called as chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is the main component involved in the photosynthesis. Apart from producers, the next stage in the food chain is consumers. Consumers may be primary consumers or secondary consumers. We can call primary consumers as a herbivores and secondary consumers as carnivores. Herbivores means the animals which eats plants. Carnivores means the animals which eats small animals. Last stage in the food chain is decomposers. Dead tissues and waste products are produced at the all stages and decomposers decompose the dead tissues and breaks the complex matter into simple matter. In this image you can see the typical structure of ecosystem starts with producers then primary consumer, secondary consumer then tertiary consumers. What about energy flow that we already discussed earlier? Energy flow decreases only 10% of the energy goes at each level. It's one important prelims point. So energy level at the producer level is higher and energy at the tertiary consumer level is much lower when compared to the producer level. So beyond tertiary consumer level, it is 
food chain cannot progress because of the lack of sufficient energy now let's discuss about various types of ecosystems it can be natural or man made within natural we can classify the ecosystem into two broad categories one is terrestrial and second one is aquatic ecosystem terrestrial is nothing but we can classify further into desert grassland forest in biome we already discussed about these in detail so there's no need to repeat it and aquatic ecosystems can be freshwater and marine so let's discuss about each one by one so we classified aquatic ecosystem into freshwater and marine ecosystem first let's discuss about marine ecosystem the first important point is that marine ecosystem is the biggest ecosystem on the earth it covers 71 percentage of the earth surface and out of total water available in the earth 97 percentage of water present in the oceans apart from this oceans have high level of minerals and salts in oceans there are plenty of organisms belongs to different category live like corals sharks brown algae and so on now let's discuss about fresh water ecosystem fresh water ecosystem is very small compared to the marine ecosystem fresh water ecosystem covers only 0.8 percentage of the earth surface and out of the total water available on the earth fresh water account for 0.009 percent so remember out of total water present 97 percentage percent in the ocean out of that apart from that available fresh water on the land is about 0.009 percent remaining water we can't use and there are three basic types of freshwater ecosystems one is lindic second is lodic and third is wetland lindic means the water which is slowly moving or not moving at all examples are freshwater in the ponds and lakes then what is lodic lodic is a nothing but fast moving water water present in the rivers is an example for lodic wetlands are nothing but ecosystem where soil is saturated with water for longer period of time wetland is rich in biodiversity around 41 percentage of the world's fish species live in the wetlands fast moving water contains more dissolved oxygen than slow moving water it is another important prelims point so fast moving water carries more dissolved oxygen than slow moving water so fast moving water has rich biodiversity and small moving water biodiversity is less is important point now let's move to the second major ecosystem type that is terrestrial ecosystem the ecosystem that is found only in the landforms can be called as terrestrial ecosystem one major feature of the ter terrestrial ecosystem is that relative shortage of water in the terrestrial ecosystem is the major limiting factor in the system another important factor in the terrestrial ecosystem is availability of the light these factors determine the diversity in the terrestrial ecosystem terrestrial ecosystem can be further classified into for forest desert grassland and other things we covered about this in the biomes topic so let's watch our biomes video lecture for more details now let's discuss briefly about abiotic and biotic factors abiotic factors means they are non living physical and chemical elements they are usually obtained from lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere examples for the abiotic factors are water air soil sunlight and minerals which are 
abiotic factors then what are biotic factors biotic factors are living organisms in the ecosystem they are obtained from the biosphere and the main point is that they should be capable of reproduction so examples for the biotic factors like plants animals birds fungi and so on so in this image you can see the abiotic and biotic factors that's all about the important topic on ecosystem its types and abiotic and biotic factors and revise all the points and all the best